Hi there, back with another video review and here we have the 164th scale Audi R8 LMS Bruce Lee edition made by Popraise. Now if you've not heard of Popraise before, uh, well that's okay because they are actually uh, fairly new in the market. Uh, but I've actually done a review on a couple of the uh, Audi R8 LMS models as well. Uh, I'll probably put the uh, recommended video at the uh, top right hand corner uh, towards the end of the video. So yeah, uh, basically the uh, model comes in this uh, packaging which is a slip cover. So I'm just going to remove it like so. And this is how the model looks like. So what I'm going to do next is take this model out of the box. Well before getting to the model itself, I just uh, you know wanted to share with you guys the packaging. Uh, as you can see it does have the uh, Bruce Lee signature printed on it. So that is pretty cool. And here we have it, the star attraction of the night. And first impressions, wow, I mean just take a look at that. You know, it's not only got the Bruce Lee labeling on it, it's also got Bruce Lee's portrait uh, right on the, uh, well, the back of the doors. And uh, yeah, obviously we will uh, take a look at the side profile first. So as you can see, you know, the uh, body design, uh, including the livery, the decals, the paintwork, you know, everything is very, very nicely captured on this 164th scale. Uh, and uh, well, I'm just probably going to tilt it upwards a little bit, you know, just to share with you guys. Uh, it's got uh, Bruce Lee's name printed at the top. So it's really, uh, you know, the fine print is nicely placed right up there. And well, in terms of the stance, you know, uh, this being a sports car, I think uh, the stance is pretty accurate. Uh, it's quite a uh, low uh, low to the ground uh, design uh, and also uh, you know if you take a closer look at the wheels it does also feature the uh, Pirelli uh, logo on the the tires uh, which I do want to point out is actually made out of rubber so that is pretty nice uh, well in terms of the rollability well uh, unfortunately with this model it does feel pretty stiff uh, especially on the front wheels uh, well, now it is rolling pretty smoothly, but uh, I think at certain points it will get stuck. Yeah, as you can see, the front wheels is uh, not really moving. So, uh, well, pretty disappointed with that because uh, for the other Audi R8 LMS models uh, produced by Poprace, you know, the ones that I uh, reviewed earlier, you know, those ones, well, no issues with uh, in terms of the rollability. So this one, uh, a bit disappointed but uh, I guess that's just a minor nitpick so let's just move on to the front profile so in terms of the front again no complaints really everything is very very nicely captured and also I do want to point out with the uh, Audi badge on the front hood uh, is actually actually uh, well I'm not sure if it's plastic or metal but it is a separate part uh, that has a 3D feel to it and uh, you know it's really nicely mounted onto the front and uh, just take a look at the dragon I think it's part of the uh, you know an homage to uh, one of Bruce Lee's movie Enter the Dragon and uh, well in uh, for the front hood, it also features uh, you know some grills as well as the uh, the fan belt over there, which you normally do not get with uh, most 164 scale models. So uh, you know, kudos to Pop Race for putting in a brilliant effort. And uh, well, in terms of the uh, the front headlamps. These are actually plastic inserts and they do feature some fairly nice details to it and uh, as we come to the front grille at the uh, front bumper over there 
Uh, it's uh, well, obviously it doesn't have any holes to it, but uh, the design is pretty nice. So moving along to the other side profile. So I think this is uh, a mirror image of the uh, other side. And uh, oh, uh, before I forget, uh, it also features an antenna, which is, uh, I think it's rubber. Yep, it is. But uh, you know, just uh, try and be careful when you're holding the model. Uh, my recommendation is to always hold the side, especially the uh, back of the door. Obviously you wouldn't want to uh, grab hold of the uh, side mirrors which I also want to point out is uh, well it actually I think it's uh, plastic or but it does feel kind of rubbery but uh, again just uh, be careful if you're holding the model so let's move on to the back profile So yeah, on the back, uh, it also features the Audi uh, emblem or the logo over there. So uh, yeah, I think it also has the uh, same 3D effect to it. And well, uh, in terms of the tail lamps, uh, it's also the same thing that you get with the headlamps. So it's uh, plastic parts that are mounted on the back. So just to give you guys a uh, clear view of yeah, where everything on the back, including the uh, diffuser, diffusers right at the bottom there. And of course it also features a uh, very tall wing or spoiler. Oh well, it's uh, upside down. Well, I'll probably just put it uh, focusing on the top profile straight away so that you can see the spoiler details. So it's got the Bruce Lee name on it. engine details very nicely captured and here is how the base looks like so uh, yeah in terms of the pricing this one is uh, kind of on the high side because this cost uh, eight times the price of a Hot Wheels here in Malaysia and uh, well but I think this could be one of the uh, gems for the year in terms of uh, 164 die cast uh, so this is definitely not one to be missed I mean obviously if you have the opportunity to get it go for it so yeah I guess that's all for now thanks for watching